Hello everyone, um, today we're going to do external sharing. So external sharing is basically sharing a file or a folder, um, it could even be a site but that's not recommended, um, with an external person, a person who's not in your organisation or your team. So for example, I'm on my marketing site that I work with my team on and this is on the SharePoint and in this summer 21 event folder we have a flyer that i want to share now if everything in this folder is relevant to the person i want to share with then i can share at the folder level so if i go back one so i could share by clicking here and starting from here and share so that means that everything in that folder will be available to the to the external per person in this case i just want to share a file so that means if I click on the flyer and share it with the printer or a designer, they don't see the rest of the files in here. And that's exactly what I want to do. So select the file, three dots, share. And in Microsoft, there's many ways, of course. Um, so I'm going to show you this way though. So in here, and I, I think by default it's on the specific, but I always click to make sure I've got you know the right selection. And it, if you're sharing for an external person, you select the specific. So if it was clicked like that or anything else, you need to bring it here. And then you decide, do you want them to be able to edit or is it just a view only? Um, in this case, it's a designer, so I don't mind. And you know, I'll leave the allow edit on. So you can make choices. You can make a choice that they can't even download, but they can view, so it's up to you. Um, apply, and then the email address of the recipient. Okay, it's here because I've sent it before. And straight away, it tells you that the person's an external. So just so that you're aware. Now there's a small estate here to put in a small note as discussed and then I would press send. Now if it was you wanted to use an email instead because like I said there's not much space to write a you know a whole lot of paragraphs here you could choose to use a link instead and then Send. Now, when you choose a link, you get the it generates a link for you. You copy the link and then you send. Yeah, I copy the link. Sorry, and then you take it to your email or wherever you you know you want to use the link in. But in this case, I'll just run through that again. Um, I really just want to um, send it straight from here. It's fine to send from here. We've had a lot of discussion on the phone. So there's no reason uh, I need to do much more. So if I do ask discuss again, and then send, and that's it. So that's how you send an item to someone externally. And like I said, the same process you can use for a folder, um, level as well now after a period of time you might want to find out how many people or who you shared a document or a folder with you could do the three dots again manage access is what you want this time and you get to see who you've sent you know links that you've sent to people and you remember when i said you could generate um a link to send you could also come here and copy a link to send um, to you know within an email or something to a specific person um, and that's it really so you can see all the access who uh, you know this these are my internal so we have you know SharePoint groups in here that has access but just to check periodically and if I no longer want this person to have access I will just remove the link by clicking this and you get an option. I don't want to remove it now, so I cancel that, but that's that you can see, and the name will disappear. So that's how you share with an external person. 
I hope you saw how easy it is to share and um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video and also don't forget to leave a comment or let us know what video you'd like me to do. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.